Hi everyone, Mrs Bradley here. Hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and looking after each other at home. This week in our maths lesson, we are going to be learning all about size. We're going to be thinking about how long things are and how tall they are, their height and their length. And we're going to have a go at ordering objects and ordering things by their size. This week, we've sent you some superheroes to order by size. We're thinking about how tall they are, and we'd like you to order them from the tallest to the smallest, or the smallest to the tallest, whichever way round you would like to order them. We've also asked if you could have a look round your house and see if you can find any objects and compare their sizes. It might be that the objects are all the same, and you can find one that is the biggest, and you can find one that is the smallest, you might even have one that is somewhere in the middle. One that is smaller than your biggest one, but bigger than your smallest one. I wonder what you'll find. You can look in your kitchen, you can look in your toy box, anywhere you like. I'm gonna take a look in my kitchen to see what I can find. Perhaps you'll look at the height of the objects that you find and find the tallest and the shortest. You could look at the size of the object. Try to use words like taller, shorter, shortest to describe the size of your objects. To make this a bit trickier, you could get a collection of objects that are a similar size and try organising them from the tallest to the shortest or the shortest to the tallest. How will you know which one is taller or shorter than the other? Is there a way you could find out? How could you check if you've put them in the correct order? You can use objects from around your home to measure things. For example, bricks, pom-poms, counters and beads are all objects that are uniformly the same size so that you can make an accurate measurement. Using objects in this way can help us to check if our guess was correct that we have found something that is the longest or the shortest and then you can compare different objects and say well this is the smallest because it has two bricks and this is the longest because it has nine. If you are ordering the superheroes that we sent you this week then you can either use one set or all the sets if you want to order all of them. Um, you can cut them out or your child can cut them out. We want you to have fun exploring the different sizes of the superheroes. This would be a good opportunity to use the vocabulary and the question prompts that we sent you in the weekly plan. Well, we hope you've had fun ordering by size today. I wonder what was the tallest and shortest thing you found? I wonder what was the biggest and the smallest thing that you found. This is Daisy. She's one of my cats. And she wants to know who's the tallest in your house and who's the smallest in your house. She's not the smallest in my house. The smallest in my house is our kitten called Tinkerbell. But she's the second smallest. I wonder who is the smallest in your house. Good luck and goodbye from me and goodbye from Daisy.